Now, Michael Verney, do you know what I was watching last night was Ultimate Hell Week? And I actually uh, yeah. thought it was class. Now, we're going to, like, and I was thinking to myself, who are the GEA men out there, or, or ladies, of course, that you think would be able to survive it and pass the test? And, of course, to be fair, this was your, this was your idea here. Now, it's my execution, but I'm going to bring it up here. How about these three boys, Spillane, <laughs> Brawley, and O'Rourke? Who would win among them three? People out there, let us know. Who do you think are the people that would go through Ultimate Hell Week GEA style? Well, the three boys there, Spillane obviously has the bit of a uh, sports star history, you know, going through physical challenges or whatever. Um, and obviously he, he played with, you know, one one leg there at one stage nearly and his kneecap was practically separated. You could say O'Rourke probably, probably did the same. So <laughs> both of them have a very, very high threshold. Didn't Spillane do his cruise at one time and things were very primitive back then. So he didn't do the, the modern day recovery, but he got back playing. But like the thing about Brawley would be you just think he'd somehow find a way of talking his way through it or annoying everybody else into submission, potentially. Um, I he just Obviously, a lot of it is mental or whatever, but you imagine he'd use his kind of verbal warfare skills oh, to, some, to somehow oh, get through it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just think he would. Um, that's just the way it is. And uh, yeah, I, I think... He's forward, though. I know he came through Ulster. He's the only one who came through Ulster. But Jesus, O'Rourke came through seriously battling times playing on that Mead team. You know, there was fire and brimstone going around. Like, to be fair, Pat Spillane, I'd say he was on the end of plenty of treatment over the years. Not that his team weren't able to dish it out too. But of the three, if you were going to ask me who would be out first and saying, DS, take the armband off me, Brawley's out first. Yeah, well, you w- I would have imagined so. Um, but it would be a very bad look for Joe, one who you know, pontificates a lot. It would be a very bad look for him to go out first. But uh, it would be interesting. The three of those, I think, I do think that type of celebrity hell week, if you got like people to have like rivalries already and it would have that ignorance that they'd want to beat each other, I think it would be, I think it would be very interesting in fairness. If myself and yourself were in it, who would last longer and why would it be me? <laughs> Uh, fair level of ignorance now. <laughs> fair <laughs> level of ignorance there. Um, it'd be interesting now. I know, like things with water, I wouldn't be hectic on, but oh, I think I that all day. Yeah, but I th- <laughs> and some of the things with, you know, yeah, some of the things maybe, uh, you know, insecty kind of dirt, mm. re- you know, that type of stuff. I wouldn't be mad about. Maybe I'm bridging more into. I'm a. Cele- I, I'm a celebrity get me out of here that in the jungle or whatever but it, it definitely i think it's an interesting one uh it's only a matter of time come here i think we're after it there's an ultimate hell week fundraiser coming for a club isn't there like that's there is i there is i'm just after to even on the top of my head there like that is 100 percent. get eight to ten people in within the community put them through this torture on stage or something like that there's 100 percent a fundraiser i think we should patent it before anybody else does and is this also a come and get me plea from us to RT to get us on for the next series? Ah, uh, listen, <laughs> listen up you never that. know. Yeah, oh, we're up for anything. No, there's no problem there. I'd have a problem with um, the stress positions. So in the last episode last night, and by the way, Peter Stringer was absolutely unflappable. 43 years of age. They made him take his top off at one stage. He is sculpted. It is nuts. Um, but they had them in these stress positions, you know, just sitting in awkward sort of positions for ages and holding your arms out like that. But they also had them blindfolded and they had a headset on and it's just like a baby screaming and like metal music on loop. And it's just absolutely horrific. I don't, I don't think I'd be, I'd be lasting too long in that. No. And also I, can't, only, yeah. I can't swim either. So like, <laughs> I've only gone back watching. I'm, I'm well behind the times when it comes to, uh, any like really good series or that so like everybody was talking about homeland probably about a decade ago and i'm only watching it back now but when they're interrogating somebody they obviously denied them of sleep for maybe 48 to 72 hours because they're trying to get them to break and then you know they're starting to nod off and this mad music comes in and they're just like that and that's kind of what hell week is like um i just yeah it would be an, it'd be an interesting one yeah me and you going up against each other in there would be interesting all right um they, they want to be they want to be Ah, sure, listen, there wouldn't have to be anything on the, on the line, only pride, really. Yeah, that's all it'll ever take. Grod O. Gracon says, uh, Grod O. O. Gracon says, I'd be unbiased and not mention any player names, but one from each code still playing. Vicky Wall, Lee Keegan, 
Owen O'Donnell and Neve Kilkenny. That is a fair selection there. That's a fair selection, all right, yeah. Uh, Keegan would definitely be someone that you would just think would be unflappable as well. It's funny and you Mark mentioned... Mark would give him a bit yeah. of advice. Ah, of course, yeah. Uh, it's funny you mentioned... Um, <laughs> if you mentioned corner forwards earlier, like, if you were thinking of, you know... <laughs> I hate to brand them all with the same brush, but if you were thinking of, you know, what GA players wouldn't go in, you would immediately think of corner forwards. That's just the, the way it is, like... Because, you know, I'm, you'd, say, you'd often say... Who would you know? You say about someone who maybe that's a bit shy that they wouldn't go into a dark room, but they do tend to be car forwards. I don't know. It's because there's just that position is I you can't know. Be trusted. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. You require you require space, I suppose, to operate. Uh, you're best in space. Maybe you're not best where there's a load of traffic and you're getting a load of hits. But yeah, I've just stereotyped all corner forwards there. And rightly so. so. Yeah, yeah. And what about the lads who have the little wrist tape like this for absolutely no reason? <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe they just, I mean, uh, half the time I don't get that. There's obviously the odd lad who needs a bit of a wrist support, but there's too much of that crack going on. Not to mention the white under socks over the normal socks. And there's got to be a few other shapery things. Obviously, the boots always give you a hint. Is there anything else out there? We used no, to have the, yeah. the era of the Armagh lads and the, you know, doing the, uh, the little band around the, um, the cuff there to make their muscles bulge a little bit more. So there's all sorts of shaping going on all the time. No, there definitely is. Yeah, we actually got one of the boys organized to get like uh, burr short socks, like just for matches and stuff like that. And I didn't realize when we were getting them that the white is up to like nearly halfway up your calf, like so it looks like you're wearing the white socks. So I ended up having to pull that down and pull the the red and or the green and red down back over because don't want to look like an absolute ape. Yeah, to be fair, you know, need no help with that. Uh, Jerry Brown says Ronan McNamee from football and Parik Mara from hurling. They would be fairly good in Hell Week, I have to say. Oh, well, geez, the would. I think John Small. I, I can imagine him doing pretty well, and I think Con would do pretty well. John Small has dished out plenty of uh, plenty of uh, beatings, I'd say, over the last fight. He's a very, very physical player. I'm sure a lot of people would like to see him maybe going through some torture, but I think someone like that, I think he'd be very, very good at it. Like looking back. Someone like Ricey McMenamin maybe as well. Francie Bellew, again, is one that jumps out to me as well. A lad who's like, ignorance is probably the word. I just think he'd be, he'd be so hard to, you know, penetrate him in any way or break him in any way, I honestly think. Yeah, and then you've got all the lads in the GA that have gone through the army. I don't know if they've done the special forces stuff like Ultimate Hellby, but like Bonner, Maher, Owen Larkin, Colin Fenley, Paul Murphy, there's plenty of guys like that that have... They've probably gone through stuff like that, if not that exact thing there. But those DSs, they put you under awful pressure. Anyway, look, let us know. I wonder, I wonder, Shane, was there many, like, within club WhatsApps or anything like that, where hell we going on? Is there many lads just saying, like, slating lads, basically saying, you would die in there. You'd be gone within an hour. Like, it is a, it's an awful uh, character assassination almost to some people, I'd say. Yeah, a few more comments actually. Keep them coming in. We'll move on topic in the meantime. John Maher, only one man could be put in, uh, could be in there putting the GA lads through their paces. The great Gerlach Nan, the Declare lads in '95 went through their hell weeks up in the hill, and Mike McNamara, no doubt, uh, cracking the whip at the same time. Gerodo go Grackard adds in John Conlon in there. Yeah, it wasn't me. Goes in heavy on Jackie Tyrrell, saying Jackie Tyrrell, or maybe he wouldn't be able to cope without his moisturizer. No need for it. It wasn't me. You won't have to put your name to comments like that in future. <laughs> if you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.